so that's going to my you too now um computer networks are commonly used in many organizations there's four types of network topologies all right you have star ring bus and peer to peer mm -hmm. there's three types of wire transmission media coaxial twisted peer and fiber optic explain two advantages of advantages of using wire transmission media or wire wireless transmission media would be um reliability sustainability reliability reliability will be okay um, because wired has a single upper you know, has a physical um medium for the data to be transmitted over to be transmitted on it will be consistent whereas wireless can encounter obstacles for the radio waves to pass through um then there is um speed um wired connections do not have any interference other other than resistance other than the y itself however wired sorry wireless can be slowed down because not obstacles can affect the wave transmission um yep that's good outline three differences between hypertext markup language and xml wow three boy you can ask for two i'll make it a little, a little easier for us okay we could do this we could do this all right html can uh, html is easy to learn because the amount of command is relatively small um, whereas xml can be difficult because of the large amount of commands available um yeah uh, file size File size now next one on XZ1 HTML file and this will be a lot smaller and lightweight lightweight um, while XML file can be large and hard to store or transfer yeah yeah um our next one would be um oh XML HTML has greater support by all web browsers while XML is only supported by a select program. Yeah. Alright, this is not a this now there's not a normal question that you have. Normally this question would probably be like two points, but to ask for three points for it between HTML and XML, you tend to always kinda want to repeat what it's cool. Alright, hyperlinks can be used to create a link from one web page to another. Discuss two other ways by which hyperlinks can be used on the Google Web. Um they could be used for emails. Email um they can be linked directly to an email address so that when a person clicks on its uh, information no, the email the email address is automatically loaded into the email client All right um then what else could be linked images images um they can be so that so link to a resource link to a resource so that if the images clicked it can go to another page or another location on the page yep um that's good there um and end users are four things hyperlinks so three things hyperlinks could do they could link a text to um uh an next web page they could link image an uh, image to our next web page or they could link an email to uh to automatically send an email so yeah all right so part for end users an important category of information technology professionals there's two types of end users you have expert users and then you have regular users um outline two differences between the two types of end users listed in part one above okay expert users um they understand how the system works and can troubleshoot minor issues with the system without the help of a 
technician. Um, um, whereas end users, um, end users, um, they interact with the system. They interact with the system and get to know all the bugs and issues so that they can report for the uh, developers to review it. To review. Um, yeah, experience. Yeah, that would be that would, that would work to make a computer game. Okay. Part three outlines three roles of end users in the development of information technology systems. Outline three roles of end users in the development of information technology systems. I just write this down. Okay. Wow. They will have to use. Um, right, they will have to test the system. Test the system. Report errors. And um, what's our next role of our end user boy? Wow. This third one here is plenty of right? yeah. End users are important category of I guess it kind of kind of not making sense here because they they put the two types of end users all right so we could put expert inside of it too all right we're waiting we're waiting to test the system report errors and make minor changes if they include an expert users and end users together which is what the question did then yeah you are correct that makes sense so test the system they are expected to use the system thoroughly and test all of the functions um test all of the functions properly um report errors when errors are found they can be reported to the administrators so that they can be in future updates and make minor changes um go into the settings and change things so that the system looks better yeah that's the only way that i could get up because how no way that i gonna get three things that the, the normal user have to do see regular users regular users just basically just now, use this system and report errors. That's that's their charity. They can't really get anything else there for them. So we have to we have to merge them. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, am I going to really write this over? I'm gonna write it over all the time. All right. All right. So for nine marks. For nine marks, various types of human computer interfaces exist to facilitate interaction between user and computer. Discuss three reasons why the form is a, com a commonly used ATI. All right, the form has spaces to fill, so field or designated field. The designated field make it easy. We want your camera went on by mistake. I don't know if you meant that for that but, Um, the designated fields make it easy for the user to enter information in the right when using the interface. Um, designated fields, field sizes, they can be set at with the users can't enter data that is invalid into the system and next one is um checkboxes checkboxes various type of checkboxes can be used to ensure that discrete data is collected which makes analysis easier of their prices easier yeah. Yeah, this form based interface thing is plenty but to get the three marks if you have designated fields it makes it easier if you have field sizes set you can only get valid system because it'll validate automatically and check boxes make it easier for them to choose option um some of them right. outline two reasons why a user may abandon using a form mm. one it may not have options that would meet their need um example need child to be within a particular range and two um there may be too many options and they become clustered when using when given a child example using a color or yeah, something so. I guess so. This form interface for this question, I like it at all. It, it have too much ambiguity. Yeah, we'll take time consuming too. Time consuming, you can explain out here. Yeah, it will take long for them to fill it out and they would 
yeah, fed up, that's cool. Um, well, they ask about a user, so they can't say target audience, they say it doesn't meet their preferences or something like that. I, I, yeah, so it'll be hard to sell that one. So these are the three that I, I guess could work the best, but you had to stretch your brain for the answer.